Previously on The Potentialists. My face evolving. Wait. Some people won't go up and get it. It's exactly the time I said I was gonna be done now. Exactly, you knew a bitch to me. Are you calling my daughter a bitch in my face? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Me turn on. Oh yeah? Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. I am through security and in Miami International Airport and on my way to Syracuse. It's my birthday and I get to be in an airport. Yay. And as Eric boarded one plane in Miami, Valerie prepared to board hers in Fort Lauderdale. I'm at the airport waiting to board to get to Newark and then go to Syracuse for my friend's wedding. And yes, I have my phone on my head. I feel like it's a little bit like an I think she managed to land that phone ploy well. And meanwhile, after another successful landing... Currently I am in Chicago and I'm waiting for my connecting flight to Syracuse. So this is Chicago. I wonder what Val's doing. I think she was connecting in Newark. Ugh. Can you guess where I am? Time's up. That's right. I'm in the bathroom. Why am I vlogging? Because, do you hear that sound? That? Not that. But the other sound is the escalator going above us. I feel like I'm going down into the middle of nowhere. I guess it's a little mini flight that I get to take from Newark to Syracuse. Yay. It was a little mini flight on a little mini prop plane, which Valerie was thrilled about. Finally back on the ground and in Syracuse. God, it's nice to be out in fresh air. That was horrible. So I just arrived in Syracuse, New York. Val should be here somewhere. So I should go and find her so that we can connect and get this party started. It's a wedding weekend. I'm waiting for Eric and Jenny because ironically, we all flew different flights, but we all got to the airport at almost exactly the same time. I found Valerie, I found Valerie, I found Valerie. <laughs> Look at the cross section of the plane. Yeah. How old is Eric? He's about to go and enter an airplane. See, even though Eric is now 29, he's really only like five. And after all the plane rides, the group rode a van to their hotel. We are at the Sheridan Hotel. Where? Sheridan. Ah, look at Syracuse. Over there is the Carrier Dome. That's a building, that's a building, those are cars. I've learned all about Syracuse. While Eric took the express tour, Valerie and Ginny took a more traditional walking tour. So Ginny and I decided to take the time we have and walk around Syracuse. We're not quite sure where we're going. Heading on the beautiful brick path. <laughs> it's pretty. Ginny and I made it to the place we were trying to get to, which is called what? Oakwood Cemetery. LJ, I found an ancestor of yours, and it's Abraham Poland, U.S. Army. You should ask your dad. And it looks like he was Jewish. The next day was wedding day. And overnight, the group had expanded by one more friend. I'm in a room with four, three other people. I can't do math. <laughs> this is our friend TJ. <laughs> we love. Hi. I'm in Syracuse. Tell it to us in AT. I'm in Syracuse. Oh, no. So I am here at a flight to your mother's cupboard. What looks good. And we still have a pound of home fries coming on too, right? Do you guys want some booter? It's very good. There's no way I'm putting it in my touch later. Yeah, with all this good food, look at that. Mm. You can't have any of that. So you know how I always get lost? Bert and I always get lost in New York or even in Vegas. Now I'm by myself with Ginny. I'm not by myself. And I think we're still lost. No, we're doing all right. <laughs> we know exactly where we are. The girls were again taking in the city's sights. What do we think blind person area means? Gotta watch out for blind people. I guess it means that there's a blind person that lives by that, you know. Oh, yeah? You gotta watch out for, but... But watch out because they're gonna attack you? <laughs> <laughs> but I also think that it's a little bit discriminatory. Shouldn't they have one in Braille? That's a seeing person area. I don't think that's something we would see in Miami ever. And then something new caught Ginny's eye. It says his cock. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so you don't want to be known as Ginny Hiscock? What if he's very rich? Hiscock. I would keep my last name though. Later that afternoon, it was finally time for the married couple to be married. Yeah, 
which of course included a few traditions. Are you drawing on somebody's car? I am, I'm terrible. Going back to my gangster day. <laughs> and as one vehicle was being prepared, another was being boarded. Oh, wow. Woo. Nice. A lot of seats for three people. But unfortunately, en route to the reception. Currently 18 miles away from the reception, and our bus is overheated. They really stuck you with okay. the uh, the pick of the litter with this one, huh? Well, we made it finally off of the bus of the damned and uh, have made it to Scandinavia, or whatever the name of the city is. The name is pronounced Skinny Atlas. And while the tranquil Sherwood Inn would host the reception, inside, things weren't so quiet. with an orange. <laughs> hey yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowl World. Feel me? <laughs>